Hello everybody, my name is Lee and welcome back to another Fire Emblem vs. Battle. Here with me today is my good friend Dylan. Hello. And today we're going to be discussing who we both think would win in a battle between Ryoma versus Hector. Now, we've both kind of done this before, uh, but uh, unfortunately Dylan's audio kind of wasn't recorded for some reason, so we're doing this over Discord now. Yeah. <sighs> But basically, for those of you who haven't seen this before, it basically works like this. We basically discuss who f who's going to win in um, unit versus unit-based combat. Basically, we're taking Ryoma from Birthright versus Hector from Blazing Sword. Then we're doing it arena-style, no skills, no nothing, up close and personal, face-to-face -face combat, uh, constant attack, no misses or anything like that. And finally, then we discuss who we think is in Fire Emblem Cannon. So for the fact that we've already debated and kind of put out our stance is going to be much quicker, but uh, we'll um, go in order once again and just, and just say who we both think would win in um, unit-based combat and then both give our explanations for a while. So, Dylan, who do you think would win in unit-based combat between Hector and Ryoma? I think Ryoma would win. Yeah. As we said before, Ryoma has, like, a ton of skills, such as, like, Vantage and Astra, not to mention his... That's exactly what I'm saying. Pretty much. Not to mention his skill that gives him plus 20 avoid if he's the first to attack. And the fact that Hector is is an axe unit, that really doesn't bode too well for him in this fight. Yeah. And then it's... Because Hector is honestly, like, compared to Ryoma, Ryoma has the upper hand saying as if we're basing it off of skills and everything, just first basing it off the weapon triangle. Yeah, off the weapon triangle. The off the weapon triangle alone, like Ryoma and his sword, and the fact that he gets plus twenty avoid, like, and, and not to mention, I'm pretty sure axes just in general are very inaccurate with hits. They're more like more powerful weapons. So you put all this together against an opponent like Hector, whose only real um assets are his defense and strength it really does not bode well for him especially considering the fact that Ryoma is like crit champion over here so i really i really exactly. out crits like every other turn yeah i i really don't see hector um beating Ryoma like that because it's just he's good and everything hector's really good unit neither me or dylan are throwing shade at hector being like yeah hector's trash but the way that Ryoma is built and who Ryoma is, it's really not good for Hector. We're, we're all good right now. I had to go deal with the problem. But uh, yeah, as we were saying, uh, Ryoma wins 9 out of 10 times. The only real thing I can see Hector doing to win is if he goes up to Ryoma and immediately crits. But the chances of that are really not likely at all. You still there, Dylan? Yeah. Huh? Sorry, you didn't answer, so it was like, eh. But anyway, we're going to move on back to um, arena-style combat without any skills or anything like that. So this one, our opinion actually changed a little bit. We actually have to give this one to um, Hector because in this one, we kind of take away all of Ryoma's skills and the fact that he could dodge Hector's hits and whatnot. So because of that, this gets a little more interesting. Yeah. So, basically, we take away the weapon triangle, we take away his skills, and we basically put them in a match, an arena, where both of them are hitting each other constantly, and fact of the matter is, Ryoma is a very good attacker, but he isn't exactly built for defense. As a sword master, his main, um, his main attributes are, I can avoid and deal a shit ton of damage out to my opponents, and with my vantage, I'm pretty much, uh, invincible, but... You take that away from him, and you kind of get this recipe for disaster against an opponent like Hector, who not only has godlike defenses, he's pretty much like the OG of Fire Emblem. He destroys and wrecks everyone and everything that gets in his way. There, it's just, it does not look good for Ryoma in this fight at all. Yeah. Pretty much, it's just... Like, Hector's axe alone, Armand's, is, like, one of the most powerful legendary weapons of all time. With it alone, and with the fact that he's in a fight that much is more suitable for him, it's... The damage he'll deal to Ryoma is insane, frankly. And the fact that he's just he's just so absolutely powerful. Like, yeah, Ryoma could double him, but the fact that... The fact still stands that Hector is very much defensive. So... It really... Yeah. It's really not... 
looking too good for him in this kind of fight. Ryoma, uh, unfortunately, loses this one. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. But anyways, Dylan, are you ready for the uh, final one, the canon one, which is actually my favorite part of the video? I'm ready. All right, so we're going to discuss this one in canon. Now, me and Dylan are kind of both very iffy on this because uh, I'll give it this much. It really depends on um, where both of them are on the battlefield for a cannon fight. Because I think if they're up close and personal fighting each other face to face, that might actually give Hector the win if Ryoma isn't able to dodge. But if they're fighting from more of a distance, uh, I give it to Ryoma. Because, well, first off, what we know about Hector is that um, Hector is very powerful He's seen as, like, an absolute brute, so much to the point that um, even Negro himself, the big bad of bl Blazing Sword, and pretty much the guy who's so arrogant and cocky about everything, he pretty much has to rub it in Elwood's face that he killed Ninny and himself. He, he, he full-on admits, like, okay, dude, your existence alone was the greatest miscalculation of all time. So, yeah, there's that. But um, we also know the fact that through a support with Lin, and Hector's style is very wild. He doesn't exactly have a strategy or a fighting stance or style or anything like that. He kind of just swings his axe and is just like, okay, hit something. If it doesn't hit, then, you know. Pretty much. So Hector point, has... That would be the point that he's screwed, but yeah. then again. Yeah, but if that axe does hit, oh boy, that it pretty much just it pretty much just spells out doom for anyone who's at the end of that axe. Hector is incredibly yeah. skilled and powerful, but this is where things get tricky. Cause Rio, Dylan, how about you give us a rundown of what Ryoma is like based on what we know in canon? I mean, based off of canon, what we know, he's his base class of say when you get him first in birthrights is a swordmaster. And his Regento um, can attack from a distance, which I feel that against Hector, it would do a lot of damage if Hector was not close. Like if he if he attacked with like his lightning from the sword, then it would basically just strike him down. It would definitely weaken him, and then he could run up and do something. But I feel like if Hector got to Ryoma, that'd really be it for Ryoma. Yeah, pretty much, because another thing about Hector is that Hector is very brash, he's very arrogant, and he likes to do things very much up close and personal, whereas Ryoma, because he's had to live in war for a lot longer than Hector, he's a lot more experienced, and he kind of he kind of knows what it's like to kind of rush into things without really a, a plan or a strategy. So he's a lot more calm, he's a lot more calculated. This is proven by the fact that in Conquest, after he learns that Korin basically killed Noko, even though he didn't, Ryoma believed this fully and was actually surprisingly chill about it. Like, he attacks Korin one time, and then it's stated that he's gonna wait patiently for 20 turns before he tries to attack Korin again. So, I mean... Mm -hmm. Ryoma definitely has a lot of patience, and he's very much it's more calculated. He doesn't also want to, like, hurt Corrin or anything, that's why. Yeah. He's he's very much a calculated fighter, and he doesn't rush into anything, because if, um, if Hector was in that situation, Hector would be like, oh, fuck you then, I'm just gonna kill everyone by myself. And it's... <laughs> it's, it's That's pretty Actually, much what Hector does. <laughs> Yeah, Hector is pretty much just like uh, the fuck you of Fire Emblem. Like, he looks at everything and anything, and he immediately, his answer for everything is just fuck you, I'm Hector. That's literally, that I think like, that's- I'm gonna kill you, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Literally, I, 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 literally, honestly, like, I feel like that's the meme behind Hector, is just fuck you, I'm Hector. And the fact that real Yeah, it's basically just like, I'm Hector, you can't do anything to me. Pretty much. So, like- just that fact alone, and the fact that Hector doesn't really f has never really fought in, in a war, and the fact that he's so young, he's 17, by the way, like, it's really bad news for him. Yeah. Like, yeah, he has training, but the thing is, Ryoma has real-world experience in wars. The only time Hector ever gets experience in kind of a war is when he goes off and fights Negro with Elwood. Other than that, he literally admits that the only real sparring partner he's ever had is pretty much Elwood, and Ryoma's style is very different from Elwood's. 
Oh, completely. Yeah. I mean, Hector does kind of look at Lin and notice, oh, yeah, you're this kind of fighter. And it's kind of similar to Ryoma's, but I don't think that's a fair stance because, one, Lin is also kind of brash sometimes. She also kind of... Yeah. Does, she isn't really exactly a t- as tactical or as patient as Ryoma is, and she didn't really live through a lot of war. The only kind of fighting she ever really experienced was um the fighting she had to go through to take back her home, but that isn't the same thing as... Cause, Selin is like a tiny, uh, little, uh, uh, a mon. It's kind of like a tiny monarchy in the whole of Lincia, whereas Ryoma was fighting the whole of Nor, which is an entire kingdom, pretty much ever since he was a young boy, having to take after his father who died. Yeah, I really don't think it'd be fair to compare him to Lin. I really think Ryoma has a lot more experience and a lot more um patience in the kind of art of battle. Yeah. Even though, um, Hoshido, you could make the argument, well, Hoshido's a peace-loving kingdom, so how could you say that? There's no way that Ryoma would be, there's no way that Ryoma would be such a good fighter. But the thing is, Hoshido's been at war with Nor for a very long time. They've had skirmishes here and there, so I'm pretty sure Ryoma's been in a lot of these skirmishes himself to deal with them, because he is the high prince. It is his duty. And he is, like, he sees himself as the samurai who has to take care of these things, so I really do feel like he's not just been ignoring them. I really do feel like he's been tr- personally getting involved in these conflicts, whereas Hector, I don't really think he's ever really experienced such a powerful fighter by himself. The only kind of fighter I've ever seen Hector really fight is a whole bunch of assassins that come after him at the beginning of his story in Hector mode, and he kind of takes them all down, uh-huh. but at the same time, uh, Hector is kind He's he's kind of fighting mostly knight assassins which are lance units and people who are archers which really is not a good thing to use against someone like hector who has such good defense because if honestly if that's what's happening then hector is hector's gonna be fine hector's gonna be fine but as for ryoma i really feel like he could get through that situation just fine as well especially with his rajinto yeah I mean, it's literally a lightning sword. If they're both fighting at a distance, Ryoma could probably see the kind of fighter Hector is and be like, oh, this guy is very up close and personal. If I fight him like that, I'm probably not going to win. I might as well just stand back and shoot lightning at him. Now, you could say maybe Hector is probably knows how to like uh, counter some kind of lightning strike from the sky because bolting and whatnot and magic. But like, I don't think he'd suspect that with Ryoma because one, Rajinto is from a completely different world. And two, I highly doubt he's expecting Ryoma to have a sword that shoots lightning out of it. Mm-hmm. So if Ryoma, so literally all Ryoma had to do was shoot lightning from Hector from a distance, weaken him up a little bit, and then go right in for it at the end. Now another thing you could say is Ryoma probably wouldn't do that because he's very, um, he's very believing in like honorable fighting and whatnot. And he and in 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 character he probably wouldn't do this, but at the same time, yeah, Ryoma's honorable, but he's also smart. He 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 probably would realize exactly. that, like, okay, if I fight this guy head on, I probably not going to do a whole lot of damage to him. So he's my, a lot more, he's a lot more like a tactician would be than, you know, Hector at all. Yeah. We're not saying that Ryoma is genius strategy level, but he definitely is a lot smarter when it comes to fighting than Hector is. Exactly. That isn't to say that Hector's style doesn't work, but, like, not properly guided, Hector isn't gonna do a lot against the enemy. He's just... Exactly. He's more like a wild kind of dog that you'd unleash upon someone, whereas Ryoma, he can be put into a situation and still fight pretty okay in it. He's not brilliant like someone like Korin is, who's actually a pretty good tactician and strategist since he is like the Avatar unit and whatnot, so basically he takes after us and blah, 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 blah. But I, I kind of say the same is kind of for Ryoma, but not to the same extent, but to... um. To a certain degree, I do think he's comparable to Corrin. I just don't think he's better than Corrin, but he's absolutely better than Hector. There's no way. Exactly. I mean, even in even in Blazing Sword, when Hector is fighting, he pretty much 
pretty much relies on the tactician Mark's guidance for the whole strategy and whatnot. So he isn't really coming with any plans. He's basically just following Mark's orders and just going where he needs to be and doing what he does best, taking down enemies. So put in a fight like this where he has absolutely no assistance, no guidance, and he's as brash and arrogant as he always is against someone like Ryoma, who would be pretty calm in this kind of situation, I really think Ryoma could... An analyze this appropriately look at this logically and be like okay i'm not gonna win if i fight him up close so you know what i'm just gonna strike lightning from him from afar and there we go exactly but then again m m both me and dylan agree that if hector does somehow get past on um, the lightning and actually ends up getting fight fighting in close quarters with rioma if he does get the hit off then there's i we neither one of us think rioma is surviving that but that's pretty much the only way we think hector can win so yeah uh sorry to any um hector fans out there that were hoping hector would take the cake out of this one but two out of three times hector pretty much stomps rioma and yeah there isn't really a whole lot he can do against that but tell us down below do you agree with our opinions and if there's anything else that we might have left out in canon or in like basic units that might actually help either one of them to, one of them to win uh please let us know i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time take care